After a dramatic start to the season last weekend in Corral, Chile, we saw Richie Rood and Cecile Ravenel taking the wins. Combining those with their pedigree in racing, if I was a gambling man, I'd be putting some good money on them to take the championship. So we thought we'd catch up with them and see what they're all about. So we might as well start at the beginning. Uh, how did you first get into riding bikes? And was it mountain bikes originally, or what was it all about for you? I started racing downhill when I was 12 or so. Okay, so I kind of started. Pretty early. Yeah, so I raced. I was racing like different series around the East Coast. Got picked up by Yeti when I was 16. Yeah, so my first year on Yeti, they took me over to Europe to do just some pre-running of the different World Cups and everything. And yeah, it was definitely a lot bit gnarly than I thought it would be. I think one of the first ones I went to was Val de Sol. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty a good one to start. <laughs> it was pretty full on trying to like race or ride there. And yeah. So you then did two years as a junior, wasn't it? So yeah, I won the Junior World Championships the second year as a junior. So yeah, I went pretty well then. And then, um, how have you found it in enduro? Then, what's the comparisons you'd make to downhill? Do you miss the downhill at all, or is this, you know, where your heart is now? Yeah, so it's. I don't know. I find it a lot more fun just because there's a lot more variety. You know, there's like probably six stages per race, and not just one track that. If you get sick of it, you know, you're kind of stuck with it. In a couple different ways, I miss just like when, like in Daryl, you can only do like one run somewhere. It's kind of frustrating because you know you can like, if you had two runs or three runs on that track, you could get it really dialed. You mentioned him already, Jared. So he's a bit older than you. How much older is he then? Yeah, 11 years. 11 years old. I'm not. I'm not sure. So uh, me on that. has he been, you know, teaching you, teaching you loads over the years? What's it like having someone, you know, with that much more experience? And yeah, I mean, I think like the always the big thing is just like riding with him, because you know he's really fast. So and I always like I always used to watch him and his technique or whatever, and like I learned a lot from him just from that. He's like textbook technique, though, isn't yeah. he? He's kind of like you could write a school book from his riding. So I've I've kind of like seen that and tried to like mimic it almost. And it also must feel pretty special to follow on World Championship years with him, I guess. Yeah, I think that was probably the biggest thing was you know having getting the two championships like he got one and I got one. I think that was pretty special to both of us. So it's, it's got to feel good though. There's got to be a little bit of rivalry there yeah. in the friendship. Tell it feels good, but you know, at the same time you want him to do well too. Yeah. How much of a drive has this World Championship title given you? Are we, are we looking like Nico Vurio is also on the podium with you last weekend? Ten World Championships there. Is that like big goals? You're young enough to pull something like that off. Yeah, I mean, it'd really be nice to win another one, obviously, and I think it's definitely kind of a little, little fire under me to do it again, or just try to stay like with the consistency that I had last year and yeah. win races, obviously. Kind of walk of it today. What can you, what can we expect this weekend? It seems it's pretty like downhill oriented and pretty sandy, which is kind of gonna be interesting when it's you. pretty deep. So yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be full on, I think. Brilliant. Cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot for joining us, mate. No problem. Before you were racing enduro, your background was cross country, is that right? Yeah, that's right. I start really early. I was a world champion in junior. We see your style now and I think you could, could have done really good at that. Yeah, right? thanks. <laughs> but uh, when I tried the downhill, after the first run, practice run, I yeah. crashed and uh, I had um, nine. Uh, stitches on my knee. No more after that? No, no more because after um, I was in French team uh, for cross country and uh, pre-selected for Olympic game as a, the coach uh, was uh, really uh, angry. He was not happy. <laughs> not happy. <laughs> Who were the main challenges for you this year? When you see the result of the day two in Coral, the time between uh, Anneke and me, it's similar. It seems really strong. It seems like there's a lot of women coming into the sport. No, for sure. Uh, for me, it's the best category for mountain bike. When you never try, you think or oh, enduro is for a bad downhiller and bad uh, <laughs> cross country yeah. rider. But after you discover this is a real discipline and you must uh, be efficient in technique and physique. So that's your current series leaders in the men's and women's category as we look forward to a dramatic weekend's racing here in Argentina. <laughs>